Well, first and foremost, it's just um, landscape painting, and that's what I've done for quite a few years. And I guess the thing you're trying to do is to um, discover a new way to, to make a landscape painting, your own voice kind of thing. And so these are evolved slowly from the last set of paintings with the leaves. Um, and I think the thing that's different about these is I tried to have a very shallow um, depth so that everything was sort of up front, more like it was coming to you rather than you going into it. So the trees at the top and the bottom are similar size, they don't sort of go back. The only point of reference for depth is like a horizon, but um, that's just minimal. So it was more, and I think you can see in the big ones, they seemed to be at the front of the trees, so that they were coming to you rather than you going into it. And, um, Tell us about the speech bubbles and well, the trees speaking to each other. Okay, so during during the painting, I, I was reading a book, I think it was called The Secret Life of Trees. It's just a fairly recent um, story. I think a German woodsman who's worked in the woods for 25 years or something wrote about his experiences. And Anyway, it's interesting. I've always thought that um, forests are a sort of enchanting place. And they're a little bit scary, I think, when you're by yourself. Even driving through a forest or walking, it's quite unnerving, I feel, sometimes. I mean, um, but the ideas in this book were that trees communicate, um, basically, with each other. Um, I think in a forest situation, so they, they're a community, they communicate, they nurture sick trees, um, the, the roots are joined, so that those trees that are sick can be helped by the others. They um, trees can defend and attack predators, or if it's in the form of animals or insects that are, you know, they can instead of giving out oxygen, they can change their physiology so that um, it becomes like a noxious gas and to ward off the whatever predators. You know. Anyway, so all that kind of thing got me into thinking about a story. And